morning everyone and welcome back to Georgia. We're gonna head out and flip some tin today and then maybe do a little bit of road cruising to follow it up depending on how it goes. So let's go see what we can get into. We finally got some rain and the drought that was kind of plaguing the month of May before my trip to the west has come to an end hopefully. There's a lot of good weather in the forecast this week so we're gonna see what we can do with it. Ooh, baby king. Very nice. That is a great way to start the day. Good stuff. Is exactly what I was hoping to start the day with. Beautiful little baby eastern king snake here and a new spot. First spot we checked out this morning, a place I'd never even stopped before. Turns out there's a lot of tin here and king snakes. Very cool. Well, turns out that guy was just getting ready to shed and he just shed out in my hand and wow, that is a stunning little king snake. Young female too. Fantastic. So we are currently in the eastern portion of my home county and you can tell this guy looks quite different from the yard kings we normally see. And that's because I live over on the western side of this county where there's a little bit more black king influence, but this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Stunning clean bands, very, very even banding. It seems like, it seems like each band is the exact distance apart as the last one, which is really cool to see but fantastic snake to start the day. Couldn't have asked for a much better way to welcome myself back to Georgia than with this beautiful little snake. All right, I'm gonna put this fresh shed girl back in her tin stack and we're gonna see what else we can turn up here. All right, little dude. Let's see what we can get into with the rest of this. a worm snake here's another look at this guy up close he's hiding his head now but I'm assuming this is gonna be an eastern since we're in the more eastern portion of where we normally herp and they tend to be eastern worm snakes over here right, pretty good start king snake and worm snake at our first two stops so seems like a pretty snaky day out here we're gonna keep at it Whoa, hello. What's up, dude? So there's a demon guarding this abandoned house. What's up, dude? That is a baby vulture. <laughs> it's never not unsettling when you hear that noise come from underneath an abandoned house, though. Really cool to see. We're just gonna leave him alone, give him the space. They're really cool. Oh, 
<laughs> What's up? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at those chains. That is incredible. Very similar looking to the crazy king I got in the fall here. I think it's a different snake though, because we're not at the same spot. It's just right down the road. Wow. That is fantastic. So I double checked and compared markings just to be safe. And this is in fact a different snake. I was, I was pretty sure it was a different snake just because we're far enough away, but they, they're just awesome looking out here. They have beautiful chains. I've yet to see an ugly one come from this general area. Granted, I haven't seen many king snakes out here. I've never seen two in a day before. So this is off to a fantastic start. <laughs> that is such a fantastic animal. That is such a stellar snake. Just wow. A little bit on the thin side, but I'm starting to think that this could be a girl that just laid eggs. She's got a pretty short tail, but I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I think this is a boy or girl, because honestly, I'm not positive. It's a weird snake. What an unbelievable snake. I'm sitting here waiting for my camera to defog. That's how you know it's a good king snake day, when you can't even take pictures of the king snake you find because it's so humid that your camera is fogging like you're in the rainforest. It's the best piece of advice I can offer young king snake hunters that would like to see one of these snakes in the wild. If it's so humid that you have a hard time functioning, chances are it's going to be a good day for these guys to be out. Well, it's still pretty early in the day, and we've already found two of the nicest kings I've seen in North Georgia all year. So, I've got high hopes for the rest of the day. At this point, we have hit a lot of our better flip spots, but we still have a couple left, and we've got basically all day to uh, enjoy this beautiful weather we're having. So, I'm going to put this guy back in his stack, and we're going to get back to it. But beautiful king snake number two for the day. And actually, at a spot that I haven't flipped a king before. This is another new spot in the same general area where we found kings, but they tend to be a lot more uncommon than the areas we normally frequent. So, really fantastic start to the day. There you go, buddy. Ooh, big copperhead. Look at that. Glad I pulled that piece up with my hook before my fingers. There's a nice lip right there though, so it wouldn't have been much of an issue either way. Very nice. That is a big meaty copperhead. Look at the head on that thing. That is fantastic. All right, we're just gonna cover this guy back up. First copperhead of the day. Hopefully we'll see more, but I don't flip too many of these guys, so I wouldn't count on it. That might be the only one we see today. All right, well, our next stop for the day was just as productive as the first. We got a nice king, a nice copperhead, and a little worm snake. I think those were the only three snakes we saw. But I've got a nice little road cruise out to the next spot I'm going to hit, so I'm going to do that, and if I see anything on the way, I will stop. All right, we've got a turtle, and I'm hoping that it's alive. It looks like it's alive, but a lot of times they can be deceptive and they'll be clipped, and then it's just really sad. Looks like this guy is all right, though. That is our second live North Georgia box turtle of the year. Very nice. It's a perfect day for him with this high humidity and all the recent rains, so I would not be surprised if we see a couple today. There are a lot in this general area, so hopefully we'll see a few of these. This is a pretty young turtle, not quite a full-grown adult. Probably another couple of years before this one can reproduce, but I don't really know which way he was trying to go. He was kind of just going up the road, so we'll walk him over to this wood line over here and hope he stays out of the highway.
There we go. Big cane break. That is not something we get to flip in the Piedmont very often at all. Look at that. Big, beautiful timber rattlesnake here in the Georgia Piedmont. It's our next snake of the day. This has been one of the best days of Piedmont flipping I've ever had. That is crazy. This guy's gonna be warm and probably a little bit unhappy about being found. So we're gonna be very careful with him and try to get some pictures. All right, this guy is chilling out right here. We can get a good look at him. Got a couple pictures and we're just gonna leave him to it. But beautiful adult cambrake rattlesnake, timber rattlesnake here in the Georgia Piedmont. Maybe even the first one I've ever flipped in the Piedmont, under 10 at least. That is a super cool find, and I'm glad I drove all the way out here to flip this piece of 10. That is really cool. But we're just gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna let this guy crawl out from under here. I'm gonna lower the pieces, and then we'll let him go back under it. All right, guys, I just stopped and grabbed lunch. It is considerably warmer now than it was this morning, and the sun is out, so we're going to go hit our last stop of the day that'll uh, hopefully produce something, but it's definitely getting a little bit warm to be flipping tins, so we'll see how this goes. It's a brown snake. It's the first uh, snake I've seen under this in a while. This guy looks like he's about to go into shed or he's already in shed. Pretty dull looking, but uh, nevertheless, we see tons of these guys. We haven't been seeing a lot under Tim lately, but we have been seeing them on the roads pretty often. So I'm just gonna move this guy out of the way, put his stuff down, and we're gonna head to the next set. Oh, king. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Height. Come here. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. I just looked up after flipping my tin and, and saw him through the bushes. I couldn't, couldn't even tell if I was looking at a king or a rat because his pattern's so weird. That is awesome. Third king snake of the day, and yet another at a new spot. Holy crap. This thing is so weird looking with that pattern on the sides. I said king and then I grabbed it and I second guessed myself because I wasn't sure if I had a rat snake or a king in my hand. What a really interesting looking snake. Completely different than the other two we've seen today too. I would almost be willing to bet this is the snake whose shed I found under that piece a couple weeks ago. But wow, king snake number three for the day. And the first one that we found, actually I think this is the first snake we've seen all day out in the open. All right, I took a couple quick photos of this guy. We're gonna get one more look at him here before we let him go so y'all can see him up close. But biggest king snake of the day. And definitely the least attractive so far, but still a really cool looking snake. This guy looks like he's maybe just about to go into a shed cycle because his belly is really faded. But he's got a really pretty face, super dark head, and really just a dark snake overall. Really thin banding, which is pretty consistent with what we normally see in this particular area. It's pretty crazy what just a little bit of rain can do. I mean, we have had such a rough weather spring, and we finally get a good week of weather. I was patient about hitting a lot of these spots. I waited until we got good weather to hit them, and it paid off in a big way with 
all these awesome snakes we've been able to find today. So I'm just going to let this guy go back into his little corner over here where I found him initially. And we're going to go flip some more tin. So he was kind of just hanging out in this cluster of wisteria and other vines and stuff over here, kind of at the base of this pine tree. I don't know what this, this mound of dirt is here, but it seems like he was kind of poking around it. There's a, some sort of turd right there that's not snake. It might be mammal or something where either a fox or something was digging around right here and pooped and peed. But I don't know. Really cool either way to see this snake just out in the open right here next to this sheet of tin. I think this guy probably frequents this little area, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him under that tin in the future. So I'm just going to release him. All right, big guy. There you go. Stay safe. This is definitely a big male, by the way. You can see his tail is quite long. All right, let's go flip some more tin. Whoa, what is that? An erythrogaster? Where did it go? It was a really big snake that just... Okay, I see him. I just can't tell what it is. Okay. I see where he went. an erythriaster. There he is. Hello, hello. Okay, relax. Okay. Come here. We want to look at you. That is a big, pretty, plain-bellied water snake. Oh, stop it, stop it. Just let me, let me get a look at you here. That's a good-looking snake. No biting. See, it is fairly easy to calm even the most flighty and rambunctious snakes down. Okay, for the most part. It's all about handling. So whenever you see people that just dive on these things and grab them and are very aggressive with their capture technique, of course they're going to get bit. But if you're gentle and respectful, you can get out of a capture with even the most bitey snake without getting bit. Okay. Okay. Let's not bite. Let's not bite. Just relax for a second. Let me flip your next sheet of tin. See if there's anything else hanging out in here. Which there is not. That down. This is a very big plain bellied water snake. We see lots of these guys. There was an old spot we used to go to where we saw a lot of them um, under tin. So it's nice to see one under this tin today. And of course, we see them at home pretty often too. But very big, healthy adult plain bellied water snake is our next find of the day. Hopefully, the GoPro footage of me chasing this thing down and catching it came out pretty good. So I'm just going to let him go back into his pile here and we're going to keep going. We've still got some of the best stuff ahead of us. So, I mean, today has a lot of potential to end up being one of the better days of North Georgia herping I have ever had. Good diversity, good quality, and good numbers all around. So I'm just gonna put this guy back and we're gonna head to our next area. Oh, hello. That's a nice in C2. You gonna stay there for a second? Let me take a picture. He got whatever was in that nest. This guy absolutely made a meal of whatever was living in this nest. <laughs> Look at those distended scales. 
really cool. Big healthy rat snake is our next find of the day. And uh, something I don't see too often in this spot, so pretty cool. But I'm just going to cover this guy back up, probably not even going to touch him, and just let him continue digesting his meal. But really cool, big, healthy rat snake. All right. Pull this out. And then we'll gently lower that. There's a nice space under there, so he's not going to get squished. And then I'll put this back together, and we'll keep flipping. Nobody. Oh wait, there's a red-bellied snake. Look at that guy. Little black red-bellied snake right there. Barely see him. And today just gets better and better. Look at that little guy. This little beauty is the black phase of the northern red-bellied snake. We see these guys pretty often. The black phase is actually pretty common in my yard. But personally, I think this is my favorite look these guys come in. It's really, really cool looking, especially when, if you can get them to flip over. You can see that really colorful belly. Just great contrast with the slate gray black coloration on top. Really pretty little snakes. But wow, just another species for the list today. This is shaping up to be a fantastic outing. As if it hasn't been already, but just another species to add to the tally. You can see that belly a little bit better from this angle. Really, really cool. All right, bud, here you go. All right, everyone, while I am back home, this is a lovely view of my yard cactus blooming. Um, I think that red-bellied snake was the last thing we saw. I hit a couple more spots and didn't find much. But hey, it was a fantastic day. I'm about to flip the yard, but this will end up being in an, another video, actually the video that you see before this, if I end up seeing anything. Because I think we have seen plenty for one episode, so I'm gonna end up breaking this up. But just wow, what a fantastic day. It started off really early this morning and it, it just kind of went hard from there on out. There was a little bit of a lull during the heat of the day, but I went and grabbed lunch and uh, drove to some other spots. So it was pretty action packed all around. I can't complain about that at all. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna wrap this one up here and I will see you all next time.